Hi, this is AK Sera. In this video, we are going to see how to make all the host group members in Ansible aware of each other um, hosts IP. For example, uh, I have uh, three hosts in here, MWI, VM, App01, App02 and SQL DB01, which are all clubbed in together in the name uh, host group multi and uh, what I actually want is that when I am logging into any of these servers and uh, when I am just saying NS lookup of the other host I should get the IP of that other host for example if I am logging into MWI VM app 01 and I am just trying to access MWI VM app 02 by the host name I should be able to connect to it and I should be able to get the IP of this host name. So simply to say each host should be aware of its fellow group members IP. So it's like uh, creating a DNS lookup between each other. This setup can be achieved easily if you have an enterprise or uh, open source DNS servers like uh, by 9 or something like that. But uh, since we it is our local environment, we cannot all the time go and complicate things and install the additional product like uh, by 9 DNS and everything. So we are going to use etc host file. As you know, the etc host file is our uh, the local DNS file. So we can we are going to use etc host file. So now let's do it manually. First, I have the three boxes. Let me show you the boxes I have. I'm just using Vagrant as my provisioner. As you could see that I have four boxes and I'm gonna take app one, app two and DB for this example. So let me quickly bring all these boxes up. Yeah, so meanwhile, let us, uh, I have to uh, choose the channel because I haven't set it up as a default channel. Give it a second. I would be asked for another two times. Okay, now while we are waiting, I would like to show you the post that we are actually making, uh, you know, along with this video. This is a theoretical explanation and I have explained uh, the same in a more detailed manner. So as you could see here, so this is what the current state of the servers. So you could see that uh, the etc host file of all these three servers, for example, uh, let me open it as a big so that you would be able to see. Now, uh, just look at, uh, I'm just running this ad hoc command uh, to all three uh, hosts of multi uh, host group. So now MWI VM app 01 is not aware of app 02 IP because it doesn't have that entry in etc host file. Uh, so that uh, the app 02 and DB01. So when I'm basically trying to log into any of these boxes and try to access the other box uh, using uh, the host name like SSH or something like that, uh, I would not be able to resolve the IP. So that uh, I mean, because the, I don't have a DNS, so the MWI VM, I mean, the host that I am trying from would not be aware of the remote host, uh, though it is in the uh, bridged mode or something. The connectivity will be there, but the host name lookup will not be there. Now, let's go back and uh, see where are we. Yeah, the app one is ready. Okay, meanwhile, when it this is coming up, I'm going to open a new terminal and I'm going to take a session into app one, which is uh, my app VM01. Yes, it's here. Now, let me show you what I have here, etc host file. So this is what I'm having as a host file. Now, I, okay, I'm app02 is ready. Now, let's say SSH or let's do a quick NS lookup MWI app VM02. Uh, sorry, I do not have an NS lookup. Maybe I would try ping. See, MWI app VM02 is unknown. I am not able to 
perform a DNS lookup or I'm not able to get the IP of this host MWI app VM02. So how would I be able to connect to the other box now? So what can I do? I can just go here and I can just manually make an entry 168.43.12 MWI VM app 02 MWI VM app 02 so save it uh, sorry I have to just use sudo hosts now let's do it uh, 192.168.143. What is my IP? It is 12, I suppose. Yeah, MWI VM app 02, MWI VM app 02. So we have just uh, documented or we have uh, just made a manual entry into the etc host file so that whenever the DNS lookup is happening, the host name would resolve into this IP. So let's check it now. Oh, yeah. Now let's try to ping again. Did I made it right? MWA app VM. Okay, it is wrong. Ping MWA VM app 02. See, I'm getting this IP. So when I remove it, I would not be able to do it. So it says name our service unknown. So this is what basically we are going to fix. So this enabling a DNS uh, kind of setup without having a enterprise level DNS or an arc index industrial uh, DNS is our uh, primary objective of this video. Now let me close this quickly. Now we have all three boxes running. Let me quick uh, let me quick check. The status of these boxes yes I have app 1 app 2 and app DB so what we are gonna do is let's run the same command that I have shown here which is ansible hyphen M shell uh, let's see all the host file yeah this is all the host file looks like oh god I have to mention the host file yeah did I did do anything oh sorry Sorry, uh, I have to mention my host group name. Multi, yeah. Now, so it will bring the output. As you could see, I do not have entry of other servers in any of this service. So we are clear. Now, let's do a quick command like uh, try to ping. Ping MWI app 01 or let's say MWI app MWI VM app 01. Let's try this. So we are gonna ping from MWI app 01. Yeah, it's actually going a lot. Now I need to just cut it out. Ping. Uh, okay, so let me just quickly put hyphen T one and execute so that it would just give only one loop. Is this even correct? Okay, fine. So um, since I do not have, uh, I don't know how to stop ping in a single terminal. Maybe I would have to. Uh, let me quickly log into app one. Ping. Okay, I would really appreciate some help here. Okay, it's a C. 
yeah got it so i just have to say c now let's go back to here and execute this so yeah it's running you could see that uh, mwi vm app 01 is able to resolve to 127.0.01 which is something that i don't want i actually wanted to resolve to 192.168 the actual ip that uh, i have mentioned in ansible host file um i mean the actual ip that i have uh, given to these boxes let's say you can just see my vagrant file so that you would be able to see yeah see this is the IP that I have given for this app 01. So I want this IP to be resolved. So now what we are going to do is now we have ran our test and we just uh, did this uh, ping and we just saw that it is not able to reach each other. And also uh, let's do the CTC host once again. So we do not have an entry. Now let's go back and uh, add an entry. So how to add an entry? So we have create, we have created an, an Ansible playbook. So if you want to do it manually, you have to log into each boxes, each of these boxes, and you have to add the other remaining service IP address and uh, uh, the host name into the corresponding etc host file. But uh, you don't have to struggle a lot like that. So we just created a playbook. Uh, you just have to uh, do just change the host group name just in here that's all so how many servers that you have even four or five or six it doesn't matter so how many servers that you have what whatever the count is it will just make sure that the internal dns records are changed and the host entry is made for all the servers in all the server etc host file so that's what we are going to do now let's execute this playbook ansible playbook line and file dot oml at underscore hosts okay so we are gonna execute this one do i have any mistake here no so let me yeah i have a ansible uh Kause install so which means that it will come like this so just don't worry so you can see that it has changed now uh let us go and execute the same ad hoc command once again and see what is it you see i have achieved what i want so i just made an entry of other two hosts and also their own hosts so what we are actually what we actually did here is we have taken the ip of uh, ip from the connection string i mean uh, here you could see that we actually used with items and we parsed the groups and all the members of the group and we just uh, did some regexp and uh, line command we just uh, do a line in file and we are just adding a new line if it is not already existing so when you are running it next time uh, you can just run it next time and you can just see that uh, it would not change it would be the same so you know there is no duplicate efforts here so it's, we are not redoing the work, so that is ensured. Now we can just say it once again. Yes, that's good. Now let's execute the ping command and see this. Yeah. You see this? MWI VM app 01 is resolving from MWI SQL DB01 mwi vm app 01 is resolving to the right ip and mwi vm app 01 the same server it is getting resolved uh, uh, to 127 so which is uh, something we need to change the default but uh, so we just made an entry that's not i mean we would be fine so mwi app vm app 02 is able to know the ip of mwi vm app 01 so now with having said this we would be able to achieve so many things like uh, creating an SSH uh, authentication and everything. So we have a interesting post. You can just uh, enable SSH authentication between remote hosts, Ansible. Yeah, so this is the post from middlewareinventory.com. You can just go and see. Yeah, so this 
uh, will help you to uh, change exchange the key between each other so you would be able to log in from one box to another box without having to worry much so like uh, now from if you're logging to mwi app vm01 and trying to log into mwi uh, vm app02 or uh, sql db01 you would not be able to do that so you have to just change the exchange the public key so which can be easily done uh, using this post you just have to follow it along and uh, there are three different ways i have given so you can just make use of this and uh, that's all about this video and uh, thanks for watching Please make sure that you subscribe to this channel and see you soon in another video. Thank you.